Hi everybody, Dick Vitale. Well look, I'm not gonna be very pleasant here tonight. I'm not gonna be pleasant at all. I am very, very upset. I am upset, I am disappointed. I, I can't believe when I'm gonna talk about something and I want you all to listen to me. I want you to listen to me because I know I'm right in my feelings. I feel very, I wanna be honest with you, I'm pissed off. I am really pissed off. It's unfair what's happening to a youngster, and I'm going to defend him unless somebody proves me wrong. And here it goes. You ready? We have a youngster we're near where I live. Got to meet him. He comes all the time. Well, ball all the time. On a weekend, he works where I usually go all the time for breakfast. Another broken egg at Lakewood Ranch. His name, I want you to all hear me out. His name is Knowledge McDaniel. Knowledge McDaniel. He's a high school senior at Braden River High School. He was declared ineligible, ineligible for the year because they said he had received impermissible benefits. Oh, really? Impermissible benefits. Are they serious? This kid wasn't recruited by anyone, none whatsoever. He's in the same high school for four years, Braden River High School. Now, here are the facts. I want you to hear me out and hear the facts. Number one, his grandmother was taking care of him and his brothers because his mother's been in a hospital, institutionalized actually from what I've been told. There's no father in the situation. Grandma's trying to take care of a bunch of people, has seven to nine people living with her, sleeping on the floor. The youngster had nothing but sometimes stale bread coming out of the, out of the, uh, pantry. Yes, these are facts. You don't believe it? Read what Chris Anderson wrote a great article about it in the Sarasota Herald. Google the name Chris Anderson along with his name. Knowledge McDaniel and you'll read the article. And if you read that article and think this kid should be ineligible, then you know what? You have no heart. You have no heart. And that's what those committee members that voted against him had no heart from the Florida High School Association. No harm, none whatsoever. Because think about what I'm going to say. He wasn't being recruited going from one high school to another high school. He was looking for a place to live because his grandmother could not, they put her out of the, couldn't afford the rent anymore, couldn't even afford to get him to school, had no Wi-Fi, had no computer, trying to do schoolwork, and he's a talented young football player whose maybe chance to make it in life is through football, and through school, and go to a school where they have people who give him tutoring and help and guide him and direct them. You know what he does on the weekends? He played, they allowed him to play in three non conference games. Can't play during the conference season, can't play in the playoffs, right? So, what does he do after scoring a couple touchdowns against a rivalry, Manatee High School, because that was a non conference game? He is at another broken egg, bussing tables in the morning because he wants to raise some dollars to give some money to his grandma to take care of his brothers and all where they're living. See, he was declared ineligible because a friend of his at Braden River High School said, Knowledge, why don't you come and live with us? Come and live with us. And the parents took him in. They're boosters at the high school for years. They care about kids. They weren't bringing them there to recruit them, to take them. They provided him the necessities of life, a place to live, a bed to sleep in, because he and his brothers were sleeping on the floor, no place to go, no roof going to be over his head, and he goes there, and he gets food, he said what a thrill it is to eat some food that he hadn't been able to get, what a thrill it is for him to be able to go to bed at night in a bed, and the kid's going to be declared ineligible, give me a break, so anyway, he appealed it, the appeal was today. And yet the committee thinks, oh, we did the right thing. They heard all the facts. They said, you know what? When the judge heard all the facts, they said, what we'll do, we'll let you play during the regular season, the games, but you cannot play in the playoffs. Why? He hasn't done a darn thing wrong. Maybe some adults did some things wrong, but he didn't do anything wrong. This kid should be able to play. And playoffs, every damn game. It is a crime. It's criminal and it's an injustice. 
I talked with him and spent time, took a picture. If you go to my Twitters, you'll see a picture of me with him. You'll see the kids there. He's a good kid trying to chase a dream, trying to get an opportunity to live like a normal kid, to be able to do things normal kids do. He doesn't want anything. He's not looking for any handouts. He's not looking to be recruited by them. He's been recruited by colleges. You take away the playoffs. You take away playing football. You take away the opportunity for him to showcase his talents. Oh, he has some scholarship offers. There can be a lot more. He's that good of a player if given an opportunity. And if he had the right proper things, which these fitness families try to provide him, he's there with his friend, man. His friend asked him to come into his home to live with him. If he wasn't a football player, nobody would make a big thing of it. Somebody out there, I know, how do people want to hurt kids? I don't understand how people want to hurt kids. It's really sad. And I'm telling you, I'm annoyed about it. Because I love kids. I love helping kids. I give a damn about kids. I know a lot of people like me out there do. And I just hope some people out there can get this message and get it out that Knowledge McDaniel or Braden River should be allowed to play in every damn game. The regular season, the playoffs, the whole bit. And anything less than that should not be accepted. He has done nothing wrong. He's only guilty of one thing. Wanting some food and wanting a place to live and wanting a roof over his head and wanting a bed to sleep in. And for that, he's going to be punished? Give me a break.